Welcome back to some Fez. I'm Dear Darling, and why don't we take a look at our world from a different perspective? Where last time in Fez, we um, sort of went through and apparently won 148.8%, which I don't really know how that works, but we went through and we um, sort of reset the game, I suppose that's how you might want to put it. Um, reset the game might not be exactly quite how it goes, but we're on a new game plus where we can now look in uh, first person, which I've just realized one useful potential feature of it is we can actually now like look behind this desk or something like that. Is there anything there? No, not particularly. Uh, I guess we can also look at the ceiling, which we, we couldn't really do before. Um, what were we doing in here? Oh yeah, we were trying to work this out. Did I not try this combination already? I felt like I must have tried this combination by now. The whole up, left, right trigger, jump, left trigger, right, jump, down. Am I dumb? Did I not do that? I could have sworn I absolutely tried that. You know, I probably messed up one of the directional inputs or something. So yeah, I forgot we were revisiting some of these past areas, trying to see what things we could potentially find in Ghana. It seems like we've basically explored this entire area. Um, we still don't really know what we're doing in the boiler room over there, but um, I mean, I would say that's something we need to figure out later. It's something we should probably figure out now, but I honestly don't know what we're doing. So I guess we're sort of just heading back to... Um, some random errors trying to figure out these blue secrets now. I'm just having a quick look at the map because I'm trying to find out which secret areas do we even have a chance basically to figure out. Um, my place apparently still has some bits so let's try and head over there wherever that may be. Um, I'm not exactly sure because as you know, sorry that's not right Ban. I was gonna show off what we got. We've only got one bite remaining and half of these anti-cubes still to go. Which, well, a bit under half, technically. Um, these treasure maps, these three, we all, we know where they're located. But this isn't, this is a QR code, which I must, I must have scanned already. Um, and this, this is a, a thing we can enter, but we don't know where to enter it, if I recall. We need to see the symbol somewhere. This two square symbol, which we've seen quite a lot, but we haven't really seen in the context of them. Um, this treasure map, I believe. So we'll take a leave for now. Hopefully we can sort of narrow down our search as we start exploring the other areas and finding out the secrets. The problem is, I think we have right now, is we have a lot of secrets, but not like any leads on them. Because if I remember, we got one in the telescope room, I think. We got one... I don't even know where this goes. Let's take a trip. <laughs> Let's find out. Where are we? Or oh, over here. Do we want to be over here? I mean, it does lead to over here, I guess, which is... Mild, mildly useful in some form or another. We got we got the candle room. We got the room with the tablet and the the text which we had to translate, which I can't currently. Uh, we got the windmill. This is the right area, isn't it? With uh, the place with this place. This place still has some bits remaining. Okay, so we need to get to this place. I don't remember what place that is, but we'll find out. So yeah, um, we have a lot of places to go to. Well, actually, we don't even have that many places left, I feel like. In fact, we have a decent amount, don't get me wrong. Um, but a lot of them is quite hard to figure out exactly what we're doing or what we even need to do. I mean, there's still a secret to discover the windmill. I don't know if this is um, what particularly this is, if I can recall. But while we're here, we might as well find out. It is a windmill, so it's probably something to do with spinning. i have now, you know, trying to come out from a... Much more of a, a secret hunter's perspective rather than our previous perspective. How long has that door been there? <laughs> I don't know. Um, have we been over to that right area? Probably. Ah. <sighs> you might ask, why did you do it again? It's, um, I don't really have a response for you there. I do just want to, however, get to this side without the damn void in the way, but unfortunately, that seems to be a little bit impossible for us right now, huh? Ow. Hold on. Maybe if we um, reset the... If we go back into the door and come back out again, it'll reset the, the void and we can actually traverse it again. I'm not sure if this is actually the way you're meant to do it, but it seems to work for us a few times. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what we need to do with this windmill area. We, we must have opened that locked door. It must be something at the top of a windmill. 
it is pretty much the the key defining point of this location. I don't, is the music a bit high? I, don't, I can't tell. I've been finding that um, a lot of the games I've been playing with music in the background, or I, su I suppose the ambient sound has been a bit too low, so I've been trying to turn my desktop volume up a little bit just to sort of, you know, give, give you the atmosphere as well. <laughs> Whether that's good or bad, I, I don't particularly know, but, you know, I'll only find out in about three weeks when this video actually gets up. I forgot about this jumping section and how bad I was at it. So yeah, it must be something to do with this windmill. Nothing, we, we've been inside and we got the stuff inside, yep, okay. So there's an anti-cube somewhere. Okay, well, I don't know if it's actually an anti-cube. I've assumed it's an anti-cube because that's what the, the blue secrets have meant so far. I'm trying to think... Maybe there's like a secret combination we can do at the top. Do we have, perhaps, a treasure map pertaining to a windmill? I and mean, we can enter it. Have we written down this code somewhere? I feel like we should have. It doesn't seem like we have. So let's see. Up, right trigger, up, jump. Let's, let's write this down. Treasure map combo. Up, up, right trigger. And then if anywhere... If we find a place where we're like, this has a secret, but we don't know what we need to input into it. We can try something like this, you know. Hello, Fez. Fez. Okay. <laughs> and see what we've got. Also, I guess we can also look in first person, if that's helpful. Not particularly, but to, to a certain degree. So let's see, up, right trigger, up, jump, down, left trigger, up, down. Okay, obviously, didn't expect it to work over here, but... Um, hmm. I mean, we've got this caution island over here. There's probably something significant with it over there. What is that? We've done all that stuff, so we don't need to worry about it. Um, I don't know. What's so important about this caution island? But did there used to be a treasure chest? There might have used to be a treasure chest or a bit maybe on there. So I'm probably overanalyzing it a little bit. But there is a secret somewhere around here. On the windmill. Who would have thunk it, eh? I oh, know, let's have um, a quick gander, I suppose, at the, the Caution Island. See what cautionary tales it has for us. Anything? Not that I can see. Not that I can see. There does not seem to be of any significance over here. I don't know, what do you think, Doc? Is there a hidden code or combination over here? Do we need outside knowledge? You know, I... My guess is this is actually a treasure map location. So it was, No, because then it would have to say there'd be a treasure chest or something. Instead of an anti-cube, right? So, <laughs> perhaps we can randomly guess where the treasure map would tell us to go. By just guessing on reasonable like hidden platform locations. So, you know, like on top of a windmill, seems like it'd be reasonable to have one somewhere. Probably not in the spirit of um, how things are. Yeah, I'm not really sure. There must be some sort of thing I'm missing, but I'm sure that's the case for all these sort of areas because the only sort of secrets I've been exposed to so far is um, like secret codes we had to input. I wonder if these signs are significant. But without a code to really input, it's quite difficult for me to, you know, even guess at what to do. So, um, we'll come back to that. Maybe we can find a treasure chest or something similar. But for now, we'll go to the other location we want to go to. Wherever it may be. Maybe, maybe it's that door? Is it this door? To try and discover the other, no, the other bits we're missing. And secret, technically, but bits come first. Because that's rather easy to do. It's not right location. Okay, I've got to, got to make sure I get a proper look at it. A tower tower. I wish a map... I know the map's simplistic for because it's kind of the shape of the, the six directions you can go in. But it'd be nice if it was a lot easier to figure out how to get to each location from the map. And the shortcuts as well, you know. The shortcuts are pretty useful, I just don't know where any of them go. And I feel like just randomly walking into them seems a bit strange to me, but... What do I know? Now it's possible also, there's, um, I thought that just occurred to me, there's locations which we need to go back to, but the map doesn't expli 
explicitly say you need to go back to like maybe we've found all the things in the location but we just um need like a, spe a specific code or something that's written down in a different area but we don't think of revisiting it because it doesn't have um the blue secret like a question mark block next to it you know does that make sense makes sense to me so we wouldn't think to revisit it so we need to be not necessarily like cautious about that but we just gotta keep it in mind if we want to um keep all our opportunities about us keep our mind open keep your eyes uh, engaged <laughs> to properly figure out exactly what we might need. Otherwise, we could end up, oh no, skipping out on things which um, are actually kind of important, like important codes or I don't know what else. I mean, I think it's codes is the only one because we did find in that throne room, we had um, that code written down where we were meant to input the code, we're not quite sure. I feel like I... There was definitely another throne room somewhere, wasn't there? Did I, didn't I try writing down the code? Not writing down the code. Putting the code in somewhere. I mean, I still have a code actually written on my notepad. Now I'm looking over at it. Oh gosh, let's do that. We just don't know where exactly to input it, which, you know, is fair enough. It's not the easiest thing to immediately figure out. But it's a process. And through that process, we'll prevail, hopefully. So yes, this is the location we need to go to. I'm sure it's just we missed a, a random stray bit hidden in like, um, behind a wall or something or a different perspective and we just didn't think all too hard about collecting it. Which is a mistake, mind you, but still. It's a forgivable one, I think. But luckily it's not too difficult to get back here. Um, this might have been the area where I was like, oh, I didn't actually want to teleport yet, but I accidentally did, so... <laughs> Is this a the screw elevator, right? Yeah, the screw elevator. Screw elevator. That's not a word. So let's see, there's a bit somewhere. But that, there it is. Just a singular bit. Is it the last bit we need? I don't know. We need how many more? Two more? Two more. But there we go, it's fully done. This entire area is now fully done, apart from this windmill. So we can actually leave this area. We should probably teleport to a different hub world is my thinking. There's not really much for us to explore left in this one. It's all, it's all completed for us now. So we've got to find a whole new horizon for us to tinker around with because this world is finished. Not like in a apocalyptic way or anything, just like in a completionist sense I suppose. Um, I, sh I think we should, maybe we should go back to the sewers because we haven't revisited the sewers like at all mainly because I don't want to. In fact it put us right in front of a sewers teleporter so there we go. So I'll take a sip of water here, stay hydrated everyone. I guess technically there's five worlds in these teleporters right because there's four sides of a teleporter but you can't teleport back to the same world again. Okay, so what do we have in this? We've got this, which we now, now know how to access. And we've got a tuning fork. Okay, perfect. We, we know how to do both of those. Um, let's go to the tuning fork first, or, or whichever door we find first. It, um, it's not really much of a rush. This is one of them, isn't it? This is to get to the tuning fork. This is to get to the tuning fork. Whether I can... Excuse me. That's honestly incredibly... Rude of you, that was just bad of me, you know, that, that one's on me. <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm not taking full advantage of the shortcuts that you can get in this game, you know, those little doors with the, the two squares on them. It feels like um, you could be much more efficient with, nav efficient with navigating around using them. I'm just not because I don't know where they go half the time and I kind of forget about which ones I need to jump on to get to places. Which, I mean, is understandable. Is this where we came from? No, this is a tuning fork. Okay, so we've got to listen out for vibrations. Which, I'm surprised we didn't try. Last time we came here, but understandable. Wait, what do you say about it, Dot? 
All right, let's turn up the volume. That's quite long. One, two, three, ba, da, 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 da. There we go. Turn that down again so you don't get absolutely deafened by that anti cube acquisition noise. And there we go, that bit's done. So now we just need to get to here, which we can solve as well. Probably, you know, shouldn't have dropped from that high up, but you know. What's done is done. Where does this go? This might take us to somewhere useful, it might, might not. Well, that's certainly a shortcut. Um, okay, we need to go to this door. Where is that door? That's a good question. Do I have an answer for you? I do not. Um, do we think it's up or down? I bet I think it must be that one. Maybe? I don't know. We might as well check. Over here, because it's quite a nuisance to low and raise all the waters. All the time. A rising tide raises all boats or whatever. Um, okay, so we... If anything, maybe we should have checked this one last because it's a teleporter, but this one is very close to us, so we might as well give it a look. Which one is this one? It's a QR code one. Okay, so we don't need that one. Is it just the QR code one up here? Is there another secret door? There's no secret door. Okay. So we don't need that one. Um, the door we're looking for is beneath us somewhere. That's the wrong way. So we're going to have to do a bit of finessing to get it to reveal itself to us. So it's not this door. This door is the one we went, we just went through, right? No, it is this door. What? It is this door. Never mind. Um, okay, so where's that secret door? Here it is. We've got a right, up, left, right, down, jump. Left trigger, right trigger, jump. Must have done that wrong. Right, up, left, down, jump, left trigger, right trigger, jump. There we go. So that count as completing this place. That probably gives us maybe just a simple anti-cube. It must be an anti-cube. The only rewards we're going to get from now are anti-cubes or maybe an artifact, actually. I haven't got an artifact for a while. Okay, this is rather red. There's also a door here, interestingly. Two, two locations to go to. Um... Okay, let's go through this door quickly. It looks like it's a small thing. Maybe just a tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny little puzzle. It does, it does seem like it. Um, I guess we'll get launched upwards. It's a tuning fork puzzle. So that's quite simple for us to do. Let's turn up the volume. Let's wait for it to restart. One, two, one, one, two, one, two, three. There we go. As we collect an, an extraordinarily red anti cube for ourselves, we will head backwards. Um, because this place is now. Sorry. <laughs> I did it again. I'm very sorry. Sorry, Gomez. You might think I'm doing it on purpose at that point. I almost wish to say I was, but I was not. I was... That's not a platform. <laughs> I thought it was a platform. It, it's a redness. It's it's messing up my eyes or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, anything else secretive around here? No, it just looks like we've got to platform. Somehow get upwards. Simple enough, I suppose. We can rotate this. You right, Doc? Oh, is it a race against time? Might be a race against time. I see. It's a, it's a little bit of a time challenge, is it? Luckily, Gomez has nothing to worry about because we are expert platformers, as I've so clearly demonstrated for you before. Um, what do we do up here, then? Climb this net. There's a little bit of a death sign, which is nothing you really want to see, you know? A bit of a memento mori. But I think we are far outpacing the rising tide beneath us. So we needn't worry. 
Don't know what we're spinning this for. But presumably it's because this part needs to be aligned. Just using puzzle reasoning there, to be honest. I'm not sure quite how far away this... Um... Okay, yeah, let's do it this way around. The rising tide is beneath us, so... Oof. We can't dilly-dally for too long. Lest we, um... Feel the wrath of burning lava, I suppose. Okay, it's going to be a bit of a strange one. We're going to have to jump a bit early. Get up here. Then jump early again. Get up here and just do it again. You can't mess up. <laughs> Nearly did, to be honest. No! Oh, no. So this is our, our final opportunity to even get up here. Where do we have to go? We have to go to the to the right, it seems. Spin, maybe? Okay, nice, nice. Um, not sure what we're doing up here. Oh! Um, um... Quick, okay. Think, think, think. <laughs> we got we got time to spare as we spin around on the spot. Um, unfortunately, can't see anywhere to actually, like, grapple onto. So I think we just had to ride this upwards. Okay. <laughs> Good. I think. Ah, I see. We had to make sure we don't get hit by any of those things. I see. So it's a spinning puzzle now. We actually do need a ride... The rising tide is now helping us, rather than being a hindrance, per se. So we switch at last possible second. We sneak through the gaps. If there's a gap, don't need to switch. Don't overcomplicate things, because you might bring forth something you don't particularly want. Uh, interesting, a pause is like this. Ah, so we can see above exactly the path ahead of us. Which is nice as well. So do we want to spin? No, we want to. Sp we don't even need to spin. If we don't need to spin, just keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid, as I say. It's quite a long time trial. Wonder what will have us do at the top there. Hopefully, the anti cube will be waiting for us, and it'll be so typically me for me to just accidentally jump off or something into the lava once we reach the top. Um, let's just make sure the platform's all done before we start spinning again. So we can spin now. And reach this door. Go, 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 go. Oh, okay. It's not really much of a time pressure, turns out. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, there's an anti-cube up there, I see. And a very foreboding skull, would you would you say? If a sewers has a skull, the other place has got the owl. Ah nice. We did a little bit of a platforming challenge. Not many of those actually in Fez, um, actually like a, a time-based one. We still have two more bits to get. Uh, just to check, we don't need anything over here. It seems like the sewers are completely complete as well now. It does appear so. So we'll take our leave. And in fact, we can teleport out the sewers. And just head off to a whole new, a whole new... How many times am I going to make that joke, you might ask? Uh, probably every time. You might notice my humour is repeating the same things over and over again and hoping people don't notice. Um, okay, so where should we go next? I don't even remember which world this is. So why not check it out? Very sort of dark blue sky. But if it's not here, that's fine. We just don't need a sewers area anymore. Ah, the clock towel. Place which... We had to actually... um. Go see the clock at the correct time for it to work, right? Which is an interesting... Well, it's not really a puzzle, I suppose. It just is what it is. But I suppose we can give it another look. This is a one with a combination. Yeah, but this one has a combination. Wait, just to check I sort the combination correctly, it is... Three right triggers followed by... Five left triggers, yes. So, let's check again. Wait. There's nothing even in this room, so it's not going to be in here when we do it. It, it must be in that other throne room, I think. 
Um, where is that door? To the clock tower, we can see if we have joined at an opportune time for the clocks to give us um, some anti-cubes. If we're correct in thinking, there's going to be three anti-cubes located at this area. One for each clock hand. Sorry, there will be four in total, of which one of them we've already collected. I couldn't remember if this is the one where we had to switch out the wave, but it's not. Oh no. We jump on here and go, go like this. Yeah, that's right. That's right. If someone said three years from now. Oh yeah, wait, we've had these time challenges. I suppose. Not as high stakes as um the one we just did is, but A challenge is a challenge, nonetheless. Let's just not write it off so quickly. We do have to... Hmm. I'm not sure about that the clock one, to be honest. Excuse me? Did I knock myself off? I might have knocked myself off. Boom. Boom. Even the bird's grieving to a beat. We're, we're just checking out here just to see if um, the clock handle, any of the clock handles are either remotely close to the correct position we need. If they are, that would be most helpful, but let's not, of course, count on it. For they are fickle. Well, not really fickle, they're actually quite predetermined and just time-based. Um, that one's the one we've done. This one we just missed. I don't know why it's so muffled from this one. It's cubo clock. Hmm. Oh, well, the thing is, it doesn't quite sync up to our human concept of time. Right now, it's, I'm recording this at two fifty-six. So you would have thought, if it's um, one of them was based around hours, one of them would almost be there at the top. Unfortunately, it's not. And I'd imagine this is, there's not really much of a puzzle behind it. So, I mean, I suppose there's parts of a puzzle where you can figure out which, um, what sort of time period these clocks go at. But unfortunately, that's um, not evidently clear without just waiting here and testing, which I'm not keen to do on video. This is the sort of thing I'd rather look up, to be honest, rather than um, anything different. But for now, we will just, um, I guess, teleport backwards. Oh, no. So we'll go to, go to a little timer on the top. Just so we can um, head back easily. Had no momentum there. Apparently, I'm no good at platforming. Uh, and then from there, maybe we can try and decide exactly where we're keen on going. Hmm. Have any of them moved? I think a blue one's moved a bit. It is. I think a blue one is actually moving very slowly. I'm not sure. Do, do I want to look it up? Okay. Well, you know, what? let's look it up. You know, I, I don't like it going to a port screen. So apparently, opening your inventory doesn't seem to make it go to a port screen. Let's see. First clock. I just want to see what the clock cycles are synced to. Twelve every minute, hourly, daily, every seven days. Oh my word! Okay, so red does it every minute. That's the one we done. Blue hits twelve hourly. But not synced up with um, real world time. Green hits every every once each day, and the white one once each week. And we apparently missed it for this week. Um, okay. I don't particularly feel like I want to do that one legitimately. <laughs> that one that one kind of feels like something you sort of, um... You, you just change. 
I'm just reading it. Of esteemed forums. Some people in guys say two days. Others who measured it say it's more like a week. You probably need to change your clock a few times until it's in the right place. Uh, changing computer's time zone or not changing clock. I believe it reads UTC time. Stupid puzzle. <laughs> I mean, it's not stupid. Well, I mean, I guess you should think of it more like you figured out the puzzle now. And if you want to wait the time period yourself, you can. Um... I mean, I guess this guy's got a point. If a solution is easily found and guessed, but the rest of it is just waiting or messing with system time. So it's not particularly interesting. Linux, you can use fake time. Okay, well, uh, I'm not going to fake that. I don't know. We, we, we got these ones in spirit, is how, I, <laughs> is how I'm going to call it. Because I'm not fancy waiting around for that. Uh, maybe it'll be something that we do. Like if it's a final few anti cubes we have left to do, maybe we'll just just leave it there open, and I'll try and re get recording or getting it on the grey day, and you know having a sort of montage similar to the what that one on the witness. So we don't need to call it a clock one. We got something left in a telescope we don't know. We got something left over here we don't know what to do with either. This one actually has quite a lot of mysteries which we don't know. This one we don't know either. Oh, all of these we don't kind of know. We've got a locked door there. I guess we can go there. Because we got we got a key. That might be our last lock door. Um, how do we get over there? Gosh, there's, there's a lot of places over here which we don't know how to solve. I don't know what to do with a telescope room. I don't know about that place either. I mean, we can try and we can try and just visit there and see. Oh, but we should probably do that next time because it's been half an hour. But for now, um, I think we made some okay progress. Probably. I don't really remember what we did, but. Song of Elk. So if you have been watching, thank you very much. This has been Fez. I've been Dear Darling. Uh, likes, comments, subscription, shares, all greatly appreciated. Links down below. I hope we can see each other again, but for now it's our farewell. So until next time. Has this taken us to a great place? No. Get back in there. <laughs> so until next time. Bye bye for now. <laughs>